what's going on guys my name is essence and welcome to my channel or welcome back if you're back we do fun things here and today i'm giving you five tips that you should know about jumbo senegalese twists okay guys so i did not film a tutorial on this hairstyle because i think it's pretty straightforward However, if you want to see how I installed these, then definitely comment and let me know and I'll show you. Um, I'll give you a few examples of how I did them. It's pretty easy. If you know how to insert any other types of twists, then it will be pretty easy to do something like this. But take these five tips along with you before you start your style so that you don't have to go through what I went through. So let's get into the five things that you should know about jumbo twists. Okay, number one, <sighs> make sure that you twist all the way down to the very end okay so when I say that I'm talking all the way down he here down here you see where it just disappears down here okay <laughs> the reason for that is because this hair is very soft it's very straight and the hair will naturally unravel a little bit so you cannot cheat you know there's no um, kink or curl in this type of hair that's gonna allow it to like hold to each other so you really need to make sure that you twist your hair all the way down to the end you cannot take shortcuts or anything like that you need to twist your hair all the way down to the end to make sure that it doesn't unravel on you okay number two we're talking about the ends again make sure that the ends of the hair are properly stretched okay so you can buy pre-stretched hair the hair that i used here is pre-stretched hair or you can go ahead and use regular hair and just stretch it out yourself but you cannot have any blunt ends okay it has to be stretched it has to be stretched well because again it will unravel basically you're using straight hair and trying to twist it and you know so you're gonna have to kind of like figure out a way for it to hold and the best way for it to hold or if the ends are stretched because if you have a blunt end it will literally just unravel all the way to the top so you have to make sure that not only are your ends not blunt but that they're stretched very well and that you twist all the way down to the bottom so that they don't unravel so number two make sure that your ends are stretched and stretched well okay number three this is pertaining to the actual twisting method now you're basically trying to figure out how to make sure the hair doesn't unravel that's that's the theme of the whole thing um so when you're twisting the actual hair you have to make sure that you're not pulling as you're twisting it okay so sometimes when you're twisting your hair you can just like be twisting and not paying attention and you're twisting and as you're twisting down to the bottoms you're kind of pulling the hair when you let up and you release the hair it will naturally unravel a little bit so you have to make sure that when you're twisting each side that you're twisting firmly and you're twisting tight so that way by the time you let go of the twist at the bottom it will lose a little bit of tension but that's okay it will still hold if you're just really mindlessly just twisting twisting it loose and pulling on it then it will unravel so you have to make sure that when you're twisting your twist twist each side twist it firm nice and compact together all the way down to the bottom and then that way when you let go of the twist it will not unravel on you all the way so number three make sure that you're twisting firmly and tightly okay number four this is specific to jumbo twists you have to make sure that your parts are very clean and that your hair is very stretched so it's like a two-in-one combo tip okay you have to make sure that your parts are very clean and precise the reason being is that because the twists are very jumbo when you have smaller twists they kind of like all fall in the cracks and you can't really see it very well but when you have a jumbo twists like you can see your parts very clearly so you can't really skip out on trying to like cheat your parts or make sure they're not straight or whatever make sure that you have a fine tooth comb um or a very straight tip of something like something and just make sure that your lines are very neat and very clean because you can see your parts much more in this type of hairstyle versus another type of twisting hairstyle also in order to achieve that make sure that your hair is blow dried stretched at the very least but blow dried is preferred because again if you have natural hair you're trying to blend curly kinky hair into practically straight hair like bone straight hair so if your hair is blow dried not only is it going to blend much better with the hair but you're going to be able to get cleaner sharper parts along the way and the very last tip this one is a very important you cannot borrow hair okay now if you don't know what i'm talking about you know when you're twisting and then you realize oh like the left side is a little bit thinner than the right side or the left side is shorter than the right side 
and then you take a little bit from the right side so that they're equal and then you continue twisting not gonna work I've had to redo like four or five twists because of this because I just kind of like went down oh borrowed went down went down but what I realized is that because the hair is straight hair it basically unravels a little bit to that point to where you borrow the hair and then the twist looks kind of wonky along the way it doesn't look neat it doesn't look uniform or anything like that so you have to make sure when you're inserting your hair in the beginning make sure that when you're putting your hair up to the scalp the ends are equal okay you have to make sure your ends are literally on par with each other and then as you twist and go down you should not have a problem but you cannot borrow hair if the twists are going to turn out like weird and then they, they're going to unravel and it's not going to be uniform so probably the most important tip out of all five of these tips is to not borrow hair as you're twisting if you realize along the way that one is shorter than the other one is thinner than the other stop right there don't waste your time take it out readjust it and go again because your hair will unravel and your twist will look weird at the end so do not borrow hair okay guys those are the five things that you should know about jumbo twist let me know which one of these tips you think is the most important and let me know have you tried this hairstyle before do you think it's easy do you think it's hard i thought it was pretty easy once i figured out all of these tips and so that's why i wanted to bring it to you guys so that you don't have to go through retwisting any hair or wasting your time or anything like that okay guys so comment down below and let me know if you've tried this hairstyle before and if you think it's easy or hard Anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.